going to do a gravel pathway over to here. Yeah, so this is another enclosure right here. There's one dozen. This is like a super awesome moment. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video here today. Um, the yard is getting done, all the new enclosures. As I mentioned last video, it's been a lot of update videos with this house lately, the yard at least, not really the house. Anyway, look at this. They've got all the posts in the ground. Budget Fence, once again, I always mention the name because they're dope, they're awesome, they're helping us out. Budget Fence came out and uh, all the posts are already in for the new enclosures and I wanna show you now because it, it'll make more sense. This looks amazing, so check it out. It starts over here. All these posts, they're still not secure, but they just got the holes dug, the concrete will go in. As you can see, see the driveway, how it curves out, right? I'm gonna do a gravel pathway over to here. This is open because there's gonna be two six foot gates that'll allow you to get in and out of this big section over here where the barn will be. So see how it all makes sense now? Gravel pathway off the driveway, easy access in and out. Then it'll keep going, post and wire, post and wire, all the way down here, it looks Perfect, and it leaves me enough space to get my truck through and get to the other side too. Right here, as you can see all the way down there, right here it stops, cuts back this way, so it cuts straight across. Right here, it actually cuts at an angle back up that way. So you're cutting back this way. Stops right here, this corner post right here goes straight back to that. So now this is all one enclosure where a barn will be. Massive, who knows what we'll get. I don't know what we're gonna get, maybe you guys gotta wait. Now from that post to this post, this is just post and wire and then it's an opening, there's no gate. I'm gonna put a gate whenever I get a certain animal, if I get animals for over here. But this is gonna be a whole nother enclosure right here. Look at that. Off this post, this is one of our biggest enclosures we have. It has a lot of water and mud right now. Once I get an animal, obviously, I'm going to fill that in with dirt. A lot of this dirt from digging that pond will go into here and kind of flatten that area out. What they do is dig a hole, they pour the concrete in, wet it, and then um, look at that, rock solid. These things are not going anywhere. Like I mentioned, they've done all my other enclosures around the yard as well. But yeah, so this is another enclosure right here. So you got one, two, and then three, a massive one. I don't know if they're gonna get cages on it today, probably not, just concrete and uh, watered and everything, so everything's secure by tomorrow. Then they'll put the caging on. So by tomorrow, by next video, you're gonna see everything done. Let's see how we come right off the corner of that enclosure at an angle, cut this way, straight that way, cut back diagonal onto that, across, and all the way down. So everything, the whole yard is enclosed now. This is our well, so we couldn't do anything here, but look, we still have, from that point to this point, access into here. By the way, I also have this really cool custom fencing. It takes like three to four weeks just for them to custom make it. It's titanium. It ain't none of this junk right here, this plastic that looks like it wants to break. Titanium fencing is going around my pool section, so all around here, it's like a brown, but it's like a gray at the same time. You'll see it all. But that'll go around the entire pool area right here, and then of course landscape on the outside. So that's to come as well, but for now, just take a look from a distance of what they got going on on this side of the yard. So this side of the yard, we've never done anything on yet. This is the first time I've ever even really filmed on this side of the yard. So yeah, we don't have animal ideas yet, or really anything, but we got it done, which is good. Hopefully you enjoy the duck feed from the pond section. I've never done that before. All right, now that everything's eating, everything's distracted, chickens, roosters. Probably the reason you clicked on this video was because they had eggs. And when I mean eggs, I got this picture and this picture, both two days ago. And I was like, I think they had more. They did have more, two more on this side. Check this out. Boom, baby. 11 eggs on this side, and not only the 11 on this side, check this out. On this side, look how many. Like, what? So now I was thinking to myself, do we want to eat these eggs? Or, do you want to try to grow them as baby chickens? So, we went online, kind of figured out what you want to do. Um, got it all down pat, I'm going to show you because that's what today's video is on. We're going to get like a tub, uh, shavings, the light, the lamp, every, everything we need to do to grow these little baby chickens and hopefully they'll have They could survive up to seven days without their mom being on top of them. It hasn't been seven days since they've been in there, that's for a fact. So, I need to get this done today, so today's video is on that. Alright, just did a little bit of shopping, didn't film it. But I've transitioned to Cowboy Paul now. We're about to get these chickens cracking out of their shell, let me tell you. For real though, I have a big tub over here. 
If I was to get a cheap plastic one and put the eggs in it, the lamp's heat might melt it and then it would uh, probably burn my house down. So, gotta think smart here. Pretty rare for me to do, but I'm thinking smart now. Coming together now. You really can see it with these corner pieces on. Okay, that's another video. Right there. Because we're gonna keep it right there. In a mini patio. By the front door, you know? Yeah, perfect. These are for the goats uh, housing, so I'm just gonna use the smaller ones. So all we need is shavings, tub, and the heat lamp. Super easy, not a lot of material at all, and this is hopefully gonna provide the warmth that the mother would have if it would have sat on the eggs. This is just what I've looked up and what I could find the best way to do it is. I don't know if it's gonna work, hopefully it does, but yeah, bottom line is, let's get these shavings in so that we can get these eggs over here. I know the pants don't go with the outfit, but it's whatever. Oh, and guess what? This is the exact place and the exact tub that I raised Larry and the three other hens that Larry grew up with, Fluffy and all those ones, Featherfoot one. All those were raised in this exact tub, in this exact spot, the same exact way, other than they weren't in an egg, I just bought them real small. This time, hopefully, we can raise our own from the egg. All right, so we got the shavings in, we need the lamp, that's in the garage. Perfect, this is it, um, let's get it on. Boom, lamp is on, as you can see, it's lit up. Perfectly little heating spot chickens literally only take exactly 21 days to hatch when they're fertilized and those are fertilized 100% I, I took one of the eggs to test it broke it open and there's a white spot in the middle of the yolk That means they're fertilized so at least the ones that I cracked with those ones are fertilized I'm gonna put all the eggs right here. So all the eggs are fertilized already um, Which means they should hatch within the next 21 days darn it. Okay. I forgot everything inside that I needed so I got a few things from the store, um, like fake eggs to replace the real ones. When I remove the real ones, it doesn't stress the hen out. Although the hens aren't even sitting on the egg, so it makes no difference. I just want to do it anyway, just, you know. Normally if the hen was sitting on the egg, you just literally pop her up, she'd get up, you grab the real egg and replace it with this and she would have no idea. Like I mentioned, the hens aren't even on the egg, so it makes no difference. I'm just doing this out of because. But I got a couple of these and then I got some egg cartons just to bring the eggs over to that tub without like dropping or rolling them and you know. Another thing is the eggs will need to be rotated. Okay, so there's a few things to it. I think I've explained it all. Let's go get all the eggs from the chicken coop and bring them over to the front door. I'm feeling like a real cowboy with this outfit on, huh? I guess I'll use this time while I'm walking over to the chicken coop. You guys don't follow any of my other social medias. I am like 5,000 away from hitting a million on TikTok right now. Like I'm talking so close. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go down in the description down below, click on that link and follow me on TikTok. As a matter of fact, if you would have been following me on TikTok, you would have known about these eggs before anyone else did because I post stuff on there before YouTube. I posted this video right here before I even made this YouTube video. So you would have known. Now you know, follow me there. And on Instagram, at Paul Caffero, because you see a lot there too. All right, set that up. Now, each egg into cartons. Six, there's 12 right there. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of eggs. This is There's nuts. one dozen. Got a dozen eggs from the chickens. We're gonna bring these over. So now I just pop these out of there. No, nope, that's not food. Get these ones will crack, but you could definitely tell the difference between these and like the real ones. I'm just gonna put those right there. <laughs> Literally, I'm j I just bought these to be nice to the hen. To be nice to the hen that don't even want to take care of our babies. Oh, I'm excited to make this video. So on this side, yes, there's more. It's weird because some are small and some are big. That is a big old egg to come out of the rear end of that chicken. I'll tell you that. So we have eight more after two 12 packs. We're gonna have 32, 32 little chickens if every one of them hatch, which is very unlikely, but you know, we're gonna have a lot of chickens. Holy moly, it's gonna be a real farm. I should try eating one of them. They're probably pretty good. That's what a lot of people do with their chicken eggs, they'll eat them. But I wanna see if my chickens actually have a little chicks first. I'll eat the next batch of thousand eggs that they'll have. This is so awesome, like, listen, I've filmed over 500 videos for YouTube in the last three years. A lot. Some of you have been there since day one. Props to you and to everyone that's new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. But yeah, I've made a lot of YouTube videos. This right here is definitely on the top five favorite filming. Which is a lot to say because like I mentioned, I've made a lot of videos. This is like a super awesome moment. Number one is when I had the little piglets. That's nothing beats that video. But this is super, super cool. All right, so they're all laid in there. Now, let me just, 
me just go grab the other eggs and then I'll get back to the camera. Bam, there's all the eggs. Everything is under the little heat lamp. They're all warm. It's actually like real nice and perfectly like warm and cozy. So that's pretty much like I mentioned, acting as if that's the hen on top. 21 days and uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And this, this side is replaced with those two artificials. This side is replaced with those two artificials. And what, what the hens will do is they'll see the other artificials, feel them, and they'll just lay the real ones right around them, thinking that that's where they previously had them. Bam! Ba bang! Bing! Baby! <sighs> Cowboy Paul, signing off for now. No, I'm not. I'm not signing off. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna hang out with the animals for a little bit. What up, Lady May? Hi, baby girl. You sleeping? You sleeping? I got the funniest video on my Snapchat. You know, Paul, if you don't have me on Snapchat. The video is hilarious. Lady May's like chasing me full speed. I go in there and I'll like run around with her. Just watch this video. Oh, oh my god. Oh, what is that thing? Ah. She gets aggressive when she can't catch you. She gets aggressive. This one's in a mood today. Watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the pigs, donkey, goats. Doing good. Everything's going good out here. <laughs> Knuckles. Wow. This man right here was the one that did the first fence in this entire property. Budget fence, baby, huh? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Getting the fresh dirt, huh? There you go, fellas. That's all I got for you today. The chickens. Hopefully, we'll have some hashtags eggs here within the next 21 days, so stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell after you hit the subscribe button so you're notified when those do hatch and when I post any other video. Today's probably kind of shout out goes out to Goose Boy. Love your videos. Appreciate that, Goose Boy. And to everyone for commenting down below, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watch up to this point every video. I love you. If you want to win a positive comment shout out, have your comment on the screen in one of these upcoming videos. All you got to do is drop that positive comment down in the comments down below. Stay positive, y'all. Tip of the cowboy hat. Today was an Epic video, huh? Do me a favor if you're watching up to this point right now, hit the like button for me, please. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Peace out. chickens have babies, I'm a grandfather now. <laughs>